I feel like the fact that people told me that UK was going to be lonely made me more conscious of the fact that I have to do certain things that will snap me out of being depressed. I was mentally aware of the fact that, okay, this is I'm going to can be very lonely. So you need to do something that will not make you depressed or you have to be aware when you're creeping into that depression zone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nazi Eni. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking this video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. And guys, happy new year. Happy new year. This video was supposed to go up on the 28th of December. So I was not able to film this video and upload the video because of a lot of things that I mean I've been so busy guys like it's been back-to-back -back travel activities and whatnot. Like I had that feeling that this was going to happen. I wanted to film this video earlier but sorry guys better late than never. So this is actually my one year anniversary in the UK. I plan to do a one year life in the uk anniversary video if you guys have been following me for a while if you guys have been watching my videos for the past one year i've been doing a life in the uk series basically documenting our relocation journey also trying to help people that are trying to relocate just to show you guys how it is to live in the uk and i've been doing that for quite a while for like 11 months now and i told myself that when is a year i'm going to do like a dedicated video sit down video like this for you guys which i'm doing right now i actually wanted to feature my husband in this video but my husband like if i keep waiting for him i will never film this video so here i am alone manage me so i'm going to be telling you um what i like about the uk what i don't like about the uk and generally to summarize everything how it's been so far so this video is a very chilled video my dislikes and my likes are basically my own opinion but however this is just something that i've noticed so far in the past one, one year we've been here i can't even believe i'm saying one year it feels like it was yesterday that we moved here like i was actually watching my old videos and i'm like oh my god you've come a long way <laughs> we really have come a long way it's been a journey one year in the uk it's been an amazing journey we've had a lot to learn a lot to you know go through some trying times happiness laughter cries sadness i have so many things have happened within the past one year i've learned a lot i've grown in, in the past one year this, this uk has made me an agadi like i'm so grown now now i'm gonna start with the dislike first thing i don't like about the uk is that the uk can be very lonely this place can be very very lonely so staying in the uk can be very depressing it's very lonely here when we we're moving here uh, we told most of our friends and most of them said ah uk is very depressing you'll be lonely i feel like the fact that people told me that uk was going to be lonely made me even more conscious of the fact that i have to do certain things that will snap me out of being depressed so i was mentally aware of the fact that okay this is i'm going to can be very lonely so you need to do something that will not make you depressed or you have to be aware when you're creeping into that depression zone you just try and bring yourself out so i had that mindset already people that told me that uk is going to be depressed and everything thank you because if you didn't tell me i would have been a mess right now anyway coming here people said ah it's going to be lonely depressing da, 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 da. i'm like i beg i'm going because what that means what i say uk united kingdom how they go let me be depressed first of all i don't have any family here all my siblings are in nigeria so i'm the only one here i don't have friends here yeah, no friends no family nobody just came here and i'm like gosh it's so lonely like i don't even, i don't even know my neighbors i don't know like my side like my next next door neighbor because more people here just mind their business as against living in nigeria that everybody is up in your business which sometimes depends on your personality it might be good for you but sometimes you might be the outgoing type of person that you want to see people you want to go out 
you have to make a conscious effort to like go out meet people you know just try and do things like that if you're someone that is quiet and you're coming to the uk <laughs> you'll be quieter <laughs> uk is lonely and it can be depressing so have that at the back of your mind second one is uk has extreme weather conditions in the sense that when it's cold it's too cold when it's hot it's it's too hot our first summer here it was so hot like we couldn't sleep at one particular day because it was really really hot and the way they build their houses they build it in such a way that the the roof traps in the little heat that comes in because of the cold so in the evening it's, it releases the heat just to like make the house quite warm a bit if i'm not mistaken which is good during winter but during summer when the sun is blazing hot and the roof is trapping that heat <laughs> Then when it's time to sleep in the night it now releases that heat so that's what happened to us we couldn't sleep it was so hot and we're renting we can't buy ac we can't because we cannot install ac here this is not our house we can't break the wall to install any ac fan was blowing hot air so when it's hot it's really hot then winter is so cold and it gets very dark early once it's 3 30 it's already dark now i'm talking to you now not up to 5 pm the outside is really dark that can be very very depressing and very annoying like very gloomy you know and when it gets dark like that you get less productive you feel like when it's dark the day is over meanwhile it gets dark around 3 30. the third one is that the brits are very time conscious which i don't i don't understand it's like everything is in a timely manner you're always on edge you cannot even relax because you have things to do and it has a time and we, if you we miss that time that's it for you and i'm not used to that kind of thing you know it's something that was a culture shock for me it can be very stressful when you're always on edge you cannot relax because you know every single thing has a time and they're always on time they're always on time you know i'm always running in and out of my office you know because of time every second counts here yeah, which is very very stressful it's very stressing mentally physically emotionally because you cannot even relax because you're thinking of oh i need to go to this place i need to be on time you know yeah then the last thing i don't like about living in the uk is the uk is very expensive <laughs> it's very expensive yes you're working you're earning in pounds but you're spending in pounds and it's so expensive here every pound counts you pay a lot of bills it's like you're working to pay bills that's basically what's happening here it's so expensive the worst thing you can do if you're moving to the uk is to start converting to naira when you want to spend something you will never you will not even buy you will not do anything you just be like this <laughs> very expensive living in the uk so those are the things i don't like about living in the uk i can't remember any other thing if you guys have any other thing you think that is a dislike about living in the uk please comment down below now i'm going to the things that i really love about living here now the first one is how organized the society is how organized the government is basically everything is working the basic things of life that you need is sufficient here your system is working which is really good like the security you know you don't even need to have a gate you just have like our door is literally on the road like and we sleep soundly they say a lot of please and thank you here they're very well mannered you know i'm not saying we nigerians we are not but it's very obvious here that even your boss or your boss's boss to come down to your level come and say thank you make a cup of coffee for you which would never happen in my country where i'm from <laughs> yes because all those bosses who want to be forming respect even inside the work environment which is doesn't make sense the third thing i like about living here in the uk is shopping i don't know whether this one is part of the this thing but i love the shopping culture here they made it in such a way that everybody can buy what they need they have different payment plans you can also buy and return you can buy and pay in installment you have um, different apps like clearpay Klarna 
can use those to buy something expensive and pay in bits until you've paid everything which is very good so everybody can actually shop and buy what they need so the other thing i like about the uk is that people that have kids the government tries so hard to put your kids in a school that is close to the house which is amazing amazing the children can actually walk to school when they're older and also it's, it's easy for parents to actually pop into the school if they call you to say the oh, child is feeling poorly you can just quickly go to the school and pick up the child or in an emergency can happen that you have to actually get to school on time you know and also when the school is close to the house it's easy for, for your child to make friends especially friends that live within you know so like within the community so we have all the kids going to the same school and they all grow up together that's really amazing and the last thing i love about uk is the fact that the education is free so you can actually have good education for free if you take your child to a government school your child is getting quality education even if you don't have money for school fees or all those big big schools we have in nigeria you come to the uk you can take your child to a school that is free do we have any regrets moving to the uk nope 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 in fact my regrets is why didn't we take this offer a long time ago i love it here <laughs> And if you try to move to the UK, don't worry, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. No matter where you move to, you will definitely face challenges. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. God has created everybody in such a way that whatever situation we find ourselves, we will definitely pull through. It's not easy here, but you'll make it. I can't believe I haven't had a nanny for one year. I can't. But look at me. I'm thriving. I'm doing so much well. I'm doing better. And the good thing about it is that my kids are getting independent. They're learning how to do things by themselves. As a guy staying in Nigeria, staying where I come from, that I know that I have help. I won't push my kids to, to be independent because I feel like they're still small. But now they do things that I'm like, oh my god. So you can do this thing by yourself. So it's not so bad here. It's lovely here. And that's basically it. <laughs> Comment down below guys and let me know if you just moved to the UK, what you like, what you don't like. Cheers to many more years here. So this is actually the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. I will see you guys in my next video. I live by Philippians 4.13 which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Have a blessed day and happy new year. Bye.